Welcome to GitHub Checkout. I'm Andrea. I'm super excited to be here today to talk about GitHub Actions and GitHub CLI. We're going to be joined by Nate. Hey, Nate, what's up? We've added support for uh, GitHub Actions, which uh, takes the form of interacting with workflow files and uh, actual uh, runs of those workflow files. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the GitHub command line, it's this little tool called GH. Uh, and we've added a whole bunch of commands to it so that you can interact with actions directly from your terminal as opposed to switching over to the browser. So we've divided our support up into two uh, new commands, GH workflow and GH run. We'll kick off a workflow run and then we'll watch it go. We'll do some debugging, accomplish a whole bunch without ever leaving my terminal. So to start, we'll see that I have a, a few workflow files um, defined. Um, we're going to go ahead and work with this one. Um, so I have a repository that regenerates itself every day with a randomized poem. Uh, so I have an action that pulls that repo down and then extracts the poem and then uploads it as a run artifact. Run it, we'll download the artifact, and you'll see a bunch of commands in the process. Usually, workflows get kicked off uh, because of like a pull request trigger or a push trigger, uh, we'll be doing it manually. And this is also really useful when you're developing workflows to just run them manually. So this will animate and uh, I've actually set it up to fail. So we'll get a, a, a taste of what the kind of debug cycle looks like uh, with this integration. So sure enough, this step here has failed. To get more information on what happened and fix it, um, I'll use GH run view. So we can see that uh, something in our script, in our uh, workflow, exited with code one. So to find out what that is, I'm going to rerun GH run view, but I'm going to use this log failed argument. So that's going to show me the logs just for the, the, the part that failed. So I don't have to go looking through the whole logs. I don't have to go to the browser. I can just see, okay, which step failed and what happened. Uh, so right here in the bash code that I ran, we can see like there's just an exit one. So clearly I sabotaged myself. Uh, so I will go ahead and take that out. And we'll quickly commit that. And there's all of our great checks. So now I want to get the artifact that we uploaded. I want to see whatever random poem got generated today. So GH run download uh, will go to that run that just happened. Uh, it'll show me all the artifacts that were uploaded and I can select which one I want to download. So yeah, we, we solved the problem, did some work on our workflows, did some automation, never left the terminal. Can we get more detail login right from the terminal? The run view command uh, accepts a few arguments that help you with that. Um, so you can pass dash dash log to get the full log output from an entire workflow run, uh, or you can only look at the logs for the steps that failed. Um, so if you're trying to, to find, really track something down, um, whether from a failing step or just from the, the rest of the job, those are really helpful. How can we learn more about the new commands, Nate? So we have a lot more information in our manual, uh, and there's also a, a blog post that I wrote that has um, a lot more step-by-step uh, instructions on how to use this and, and make use of it. So you can check that out at github.co slash ghactions. Thanks again for joining us today, Nate. Thank you. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to watch more videos.